<sighs> Welcome everyone to Technology Made Basic. In this video, we are going to show you how to enable safe mode in Windows 10. Let's start by bringing up our command prompt window. Just click on your start menu on the bottom left and just type in the letters uh, CMD. And once we have the option for command prompt, do a right click over it and choose the run as administrator option. And what command prompt is, is just a way that allows us to manually type in a command for a computer to do something. Um, software, you know, something with a graphical user interface with a GUI does the same exact, exact thing. Except the, the software usually does everything automatically for you once you do a click on it. You know, it gives your computer a command and it brings something up or changes something or saves something. And all the command prompt window does, it allows us to type in a command to tell our computer to do something. Um, safe mode, I believe, was enabled in previous versions of Windows. I believe it, it was hidden in Windows 8 and Windows 10. But I believe anything uh, with Windows 7 or prior did have uh, safe mode already enabled. And the way to get to it typically would be to um, tap F8 on your key repeatedly right after the manufacturer's splash screen. So usually right after that screen goes away to the brain of your computer, just tap F8 repeatedly, and then you're going to get the options for safe mode and other diagnostic tools that you can use. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now is just enable that feature. Um, so once we have this, we're going to we're going to give it a command, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and type this, and uh, I'll put this in the description also. That way you guys can copy it and see you know what it is. So go ahead and type uh, B C D edit. You have to do this exactly as I do it. There's a space after that. Uh, forward slash copy uh, space curly braces or curly brackets whatever you want to call them the word current space after that forward slash d space quotation marks and in there we're going to put windows 10 save mode and hit enter and you should get this the entry was successfully copied to and a bunch of a uh, long string of letters and numbers and what that's going to do is going to give us it's going to enable that option it's going to enable it as an option when your computer reboots. So let's go ahead and confirm. And we got to do a, one, a couple more things also. So click on the Start menu again, and just type in the letters M S uh, C O N F I G M S Config for our System Configuration Utility. Bring this up, and what this is, it's another diagnostic tool that you can use to diagnose startup issues that you're having with your computer, where you can disable certain programs, uh, you can disable services. Uh, you know, it gives you the uh, option to do a lot of different things to, again, diagnose uh, issues that you're having. Now, what we want to do is go to the boot tab. So once you click on boot, you're going to have two options. You're going to have your regular Windows 10 default option, and then you're going to have your Windows 10 uh, safe mode option. And this is the one that we just added. So go ahead and click on that. And now we want to give it the attributes to boot into safe mode. So to do that, we go down to the boot options, check on this uh, box here says safe boot and leave the default uh, selected which is minimal so make sure this radio button is selected as minimal and click apply and then once you do that now you have the two different options you have your regular windows 10 installation you have your safe mode um, option and what safe mode is in case you didn't know it's just a troubleshooting option for windows basically it loads the basic files and drivers necessary for, for your computer to run so just the basic stuff so there may be certain applications that you try to open in safe mode that don't open or they're going to give you an error message it's only because it's loading just the most basic stuff necessary for your computer to run in order for you to diagnose and find out what's causing that issue with your computer whether it's slowness uh, it could have been a virus or whatever it may be um, but this safe mode here it does not give us the option to do networking it does not give us the option to transfer files back and forth from our home network our business network or it doesn't allow us to go on the internet either so it essentially disables that network adapter so in order to have the safe mode option with the networking, we're going to go ahead and add that. So we go back to our command uh, prompt window. We type in the same exact command, B, C, D, edit, space, forward slash copy, space, curly braces, current, space, forward slash D, space, quotation marks. This time we're just going to type Windows 10 safe mode with networking. And again, hit enter, and we should get that same exact uh, resolution also. The uh, the entry was successfully copied to in a bunch of uh, letters and numbers. And now we're going to go ahead and close our system configuration window. And usually when we make changes to any of the tabs in there, and you hit OK or Apply, 
uh, you're going to get this window to come up and uh, basically the changes are not going to take effect until you actually restart the computer and that's all this is saying. So right now I don't want to do a restart so I'm just going to say exit without restart. Uh, let's go ahead and reopen that utility up again. So type in msconfig. Open it up. Let's go back to our boot tab and now we have the third option. So let's go ahead and click on Windows 10 with uh, networking and go down here to our boot options. Check the box for safe boot. This time we don't want the minimal selected, we want the network selected. So go ahead and select that radio button all the way down at the bottom and hit apply. So now we have our three options. We have Windows 10, which are normal, uh, regular default uh, OS, loads everything normally like it should. Uh, we have our Windows 10 with safe mode, uh, which allows us to diagnose the system. Again, it loads the basic files and drivers. And we have Windows 10 safe mode with networking, which does the same thing, except it, it enables your network adapter. So it allows you to go on the internet or transfer files necessary to the computer to diagnose whatever the issue is. Um, what it looks like, let's go ahead and hit OK. And again, I want to exit with that restart, is this. So basically, once you restart your computer every single time, you're going to get this option here. You're going to get uh, Windows 10, Windows 10 safe mode, and Windows 10 safe mode with networking. Um, and by, I, I think it starts counting down. It starts at 30 seconds. So if you don't choose something, by default, it, it goes to your normal Windows 10 installation. But um, if you want to troubleshoot it, just make sure to choose either one of those two options that, uh, that you want, that you need. Um, Again, this is how to enable safe mode in Windows 10. It's something that's not enabled by default, uh, but it's something good to have in case you ever have an issue with your with your normal installation of, and you're noticing that there's maybe a uh, like a slowness and it's not not acting like normal. This is something good that I would recommend to have enabled, just in case it ever crashes on you and it goes in a reboot loop over and over and you can't get back into it. At least you have some extra options to boot into to try to see what the issue is, or to maybe even back up your files if you haven't done so already. So again, that's how to do it. I'm going to put all the information in the description. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your time.